Hello, fans, and welcome to tonight's game between the Missouri Tigers and the Georgia Bulldogs. Tonight really should be a good one. We've got two excellent point guards going at it. Number two might be one of the best floor leaders in the country right now. Starting across from him tonight will be another great player that knows how to run a squad out there. It should be a great matchup throughout the night. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. The Bulldogs know they're in for a fight tonight, Dick. What are their keys to succeed this evening? Hey, if you ask me, the keys are simple, Brad. First, reward your big men for running the court. Get them some easy buckets in transition. Next, if you win the glass, baby, and you'll own the boards, you'll win the game. And lastly, keep it simple defensively and play as a unit. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. One, one, four, two. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Trying to draw the foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. There's a reason they're called free throws. Both teams are looking to get something going here. On the outside, inside, for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Looking for a screen on top and got it. He nails the shot. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Pass down low. There was a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Looking for a good shot. Fed the low block. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. The student body is rocking tonight. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Coffee is feeling great right now. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. That's spacing. Looks at a three. Got it. He keeps the dribble as they reset. The center with the ball. Inside. Top of the stand is shot block. That's a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul. And oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what. He's disgusted, but so is his coach. Frustration right there. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. On the outside, he shoots from the top of the circle. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then so. He's obviously carrying his team, Brad. His teammates need to follow his lead and join in on the action. Puts it up, looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Side. And a momentary look from three-point land. Trying to pack it inside. 
run him right into the screen again. What did I say? Very poor positioning on the double team there, Dick. These kids know better. We'll see if they get it right next time down. High post flashes for the ball handler. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries a three. Makes the shot. From right in the circle. Off the rim and no good. Shows patience waiting for the reset. He bombs from outside. Way off target. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. He'll regroup the offense. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. after that time out, Dick. That's winning energy, baby. The team with the most energy and execution goes home with the big W. The power forward takes the feed. They move it into the front court. The point guard gets the pass. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. The power forward gets the ball. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense, poor job defensively. Don't get back, don't stop the ball. And they're allowed to convert, get the number game going. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Trying to draw some contact. He puts it in with contact and all. They work it around the perimeter. Jumps into the defender. Great play to take that to the basket. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Gave it up. The Tigers have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. They'll work it around the arc. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Perfectly executed. You don't get any points for the replay, but it still looks great. Kick it back outside. They've left him completely alone. Shoots. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. Now they work it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. The ball goes out of bounds. Mr. Nestler, there's no need for that extracurricular stuff. I agree, but that was a great play. Now it seems as though his emotions are getting the best of it. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play.
Goes up for two. In and out. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. And he'll kick it back outside. The small forward takes the pass. Jump hook from the low block. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebounding ability. Look at that spacing. Looking for the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Well, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Great anticipation defensively. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Way off target. Georgia have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Working around the perimeter. From right of the circle. Sinks it. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Turns it over. Ball is loose, but the defense got possession. High step in it, man. Take a look right here. Little Barista go up in shorts. Little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. Working it around the perimeter. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. And a momentary look from three-point land. Blocked! They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. My goodness. Players these days and their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. Way out on top. Controlling the ball, fakes it. There's the trap. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. Georgia is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Up and inside. There's the pick. There's the roll. He tries the three ball. Goes. Dribble gives it up. Picked out of the air. Oh. 
Well, let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Brad, before the game, both coaches and players said they were looking forward to tonight's matchup. Whose weaknesses will be exposed and who will really step up, guys? Thanks, Erin. <laughs> to the line. Drained it. Nothing but nylon. NBN. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Gave it up. There they come with a double team to stop it. Another turnover. And we're not talking out the turnovers either. Gets it back out. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Fake. Nice fake. He shoots from downtown. They're dialing threes up like oh, nothing right now. Hey, this is awesome to watch, baby. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere on the inside. Double team now, bad angle. Top of the circle, off the rim, and no good. Looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. And now with a power move on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball, seals the defense off, and explodes to the basket. goes out of bounds. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion. What passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. On the outside. Has a nice look at the basket. The ball goes out of play. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what. Don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Looks at the three. He's money with the shot. Dumping inside. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. Look at that spacing. In the paint. Here's a double team. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And sinks it. There's a double team waiting there. They work it around the perimeter. He attempts the three, knocks it down. Let's look at it again. There's the trap. Way out on top, controlling the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. Here we go on the break. Goes up for two. 
It's good. The replay's not even enough for this one. Moving it around the perimeter. Picks off the lazy pass. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He gets the bucket. Start, start. Four, four, three. The two. One, one. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. There they come with a double team to stop it. Goes in. He shoots from the top of the circle. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. We're going to move it around the perimeter. He looks for three. He makes the shot. And the fans here are loving the action. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more, Mr. Nestler. We are so lucky that we get to go to all these schools and experience the mayhem firsthand. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Everything they throw up keeps hitting the target. NBN, nothing but nylon. Intercepted. Gave it up. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Nice high post screen. That was nice. We're about ready to start things up again. Absolute mayhem. This place will be in disarray, Dick, if they can get a stop. Push it basketball. Strips the ball. The crowd will be on cloud nine if they can put some points up on the board. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Play that back for me one time. Opportunity. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Gave it up. Double team now, bad angle. He launches the bomb. Tickles a twine. Shot clock is dead. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Drains it. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. From left of the circle, can't get it to go. 
Great shot. At halftime, the Tigers are trailing by two. Nick, what would you say is the play of the half in this tightly knit affair? This buzzer beater at the half is still fresh on my mind, baby. The teams are just about ready to start the second half. Dick, let's see how this one unfolds. Georgia filled up the scoring column with three balls, Dick, in that first half. That's right, partner, and no one really stepped out to contest him. And I'll tell you, they made them pay. They knocked them down all half long. Dick in the second half, our player matchup update, and uh, they're playing very, very even right now, and they're not making mistakes. I tell you, there's no doubt their PTPers, their prime time performers, they like the big moment and they make big plays. He does the sweet fake shot with the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I tell you, great spin move to the basket. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, that people from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here on transition, Brad. The land. It out, steals a pass. On the dribble, gives it up. He pump fakes. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. From beyond the arc, he gets that one to fall. Looking for a good shot. Leans in, and he scores despite the half. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. Shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Looking for a good shot. He fires from long range. Missouri are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. There's a double team waiting there. Get that sucker out of the game, man. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He drains it. Takes the shot. Executes the baby hook. And off the mark. Picks off the pass. Gave it up. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Jump hook from the low block. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. On the outside, 
Now they work it around the perimeter. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Set that screen away. Georgia have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. With the block. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. Picked off. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the long pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He lets it go. He buries it. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Good fake. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Way off target. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Takes away the pass. Tries for two. Gets it to go. With a deep shot from outside. Gets it to fall. Pump fakes. Dick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good this. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. On the outside. And the fans are going wild. It's electrifying in here. away sinks the shot goes up for two great play to take that to the basket on the dribble gives it up that spin moves not going to work against this defense that's a no-no baby defensive player beats him to the spot for the bucket. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Dick, look at this. He's not afraid to let anyone know how he feels. Right, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us.
He shoots from outside. You betcha. And he'll kick it back outside. He's got a nice shot fake. They'll work it around the arc. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Aggressive steal attempt there. You got to be careful when you go for an aggressive steal like that, Brad. If you miss, you could be in trouble. For three. Buried it. Stolen. Here they come now on a turnover. Picked out of the air. Full court pass. They work the perimeter. Here's a flash from the high post. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Gave it up. Using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop. Takes the ball with a goal. Strong. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. And I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. And now with a power move on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball, seals the defense off, and explodes to the basket. Working it around the perimeter for two. Perfectly executed. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. And the ball goes out of bounds. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. From right at the circle, he gets it to go. Kick it back outside. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. The ball goes out of play. They're working around the perimeter. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Foul charge. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, bro. For two and in and out. He intercepts it. And back they come the other way. 
On the dribble, gives it up, jumps in, goes in. Number 50 with the fake. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Drains it. Here's a double team. Robs him with the ball. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. And now they'll bring it up. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play out in there and you're fronting. Looking for a good shot. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Look at that spacing. He lets it fly. You bet. Coffee, four, four, three. Gave it up. Jumped in front to take it away. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Robs him of the ball. Looking for a good shot. Stolen. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. The fake. Time to pick up the defense here now. Steals the pass. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Oh, right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when the guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. Goes up for two, and he misses the shot. Missouri are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Tries one from three-point land. Goes in. Here's one for the highlight reel. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Look at these fans. They're loving it. The man is off the charts, Brad. Trying to draw the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Outside jumper. He gets the bucket to fall. On the dribble, gives it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. They work the perimeter. The power forward receives the pass. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. There's a high screen. 
Good. Moving it around the perimeter. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Defensive stance there and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. There they come with a double team to stop it. We'll take the shot. He nails the shot. Let's get back to the action. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, have. that helps. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Here's the offensive drop step and the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow it to get to the baseline. Ten-point lead. It's as big a lead as it sounds, Brad. From three-point territory, he gets the bucket. They work it around the perimeter. He fouled him. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Well, Dick, it looks like they're going to spend a little bit of time fouling right here. Foul, and that stops the clock again. And the clock stopped with a foul. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. He'll have one and the bonus. Makes the front end of the one and one. No rebounding that. Timeout. Both teams will get a breather here. We'll get a chance to talk things over. Some game plan changes, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. Nine points is the difference now. A difference that can change in a heartbeat if you ain't careful, Brad. Makes the shot. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. So he'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity. A bucket here will make this a two possession game. At the line. He makes the front end of the one and one. Everything looked good, but the result. 
And they're catching nothing but iron at the free throw line, Dick. They're going to catch more than that from their coach if they don't start putting them down, Brian. And the clock stopped with a foul. A chance for two. Hits that one. Second shot is good. Shot clock is dead. He goes for three. Rims out. Cross court. Rucker handles the feed. Picked off. He shoots from long range. He hits it. The shooting guard handles the pass. Picks off the pass. Timeout. Let's check in with Aaron, who's standing by. Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Like we're ready to step back out onto the court. This is the big time. Nick, you know, it's always great to look back and see how the marquee matchup played out. I'll tell you one thing, Brad, that's great to watch individually. But remember, this is a team game, so it's really how the team responds as a unit. Georgia was caught in quite a battle tonight before pulling ahead for good. They kept it close and ended up pulling off an upset. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.